Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking at our Old Dominion reinforcements today that have just arrived from Parabellum. Uh, today's video is focused on the Mounted Strategos. Uh, this is one of your uh, character choices. Um, they are, uh, you have the Strategos on foot, which has already been released. Um, and then the mounted one here, which is going to be a nice addition to the uh, Cataphractoid unit. Um, and going to give them a little bit more oomph whenever they go into combat. Um, also some cool options, potentially running Scoffnung on him to give them line breaker and give him a point of cleave. Uh, so some interesting things you can do there. Um, I do like too uh, that the head on this model is exposed underneath the mask, which is a cool, uh, cool tie-in from the uh, panoply of the original legions and then the undead corruption underneath. Also like the horse's armor. Uh, so we're gonna crack this thing open and see what we got. All right, so our sprues, we'll take a look at those in just a moment. We also got a base for our character. Our uh, usual living world uh, slash uh, command card QR instructions. And then we have the artwork for the Stratagos, which is uh, updated for the mounted version. Uh, so it is cool to see there's a second card there for the mounted version. And then we have our instructions. So taking a closer look at the sprues, uh, this one is the horse. Very good detail. As we have already seen on the Cataphractoid, this is very similar to their horses. Then we have the rider. Very good detail, especially there on the feathers. And then the rest of the horse and the balance of the rider's pieces. All right, so that is the sprues. We're going to get him slapped together, and then we will be back to take a closer look. And with that, the Stratagos is complete. This was an easy kit to build, had a lot of pieces, but added tons of detail, um, particularly around the head with the uh, headdress and then the open mask where you can see the face underneath. Um, I also like the ornamentation here on his mount uh, and then the sword as well. Uh, very nice detail in it and the cloak. Um, went together really quickly and is ready to begin leading my Old Dominion forces to battle. Uh, so if you're looking to pick up one of your own, or if you're looking to expand your army, or maybe even start off with the new uh, City States faction, which just dropped for pre-order, uh, whenever you get to checkout at the eShop, click on the question that says, do you have a discount voucher? A box will pop up and you can write Maelstrom 10 into that box that will secure you a 10% discount on your order. It will send an affiliate fee our way, so win-win for everybody, uh, and will help you get into your faction a little more cheaply. Um, it's a excellent tool to use if you're at the start of a new army like the new City State stuff, which we are getting ready to purchase ourselves um, here at the Maelstrom to start getting ready. Uh, so, if you like what you saw, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below on what your favorite model has been in the recent months. Um, there's been a ton of new product from uh, Parabellum. It's an exciting time to be into the game. Um, and make sure you share this video so that others can see the models that are coming out and see how the quality is continuing to improve on Parabellum's model front. We also have a Patreon. If you want to check that out, it's in the link uh, below, or it's in the description below. We'll have a link there. Um, and as always, thank you for spending time with us today at the Maelstrom.